Hey everyone, welcome back to successwithchris.com. I'm your host, Chris O'Neill, with the internet's most successful blog. I guess I should be welcoming myself back, right? Uh, I've been away for a few weeks, as you know, and um, and I want to, first of all, I want to apologize for that. Um, brings up a couple topics. Um, one we're going to discuss today where blocking out time is important. Uh, so for the last three weeks, I've been uh, doing a couple things. Um, one, The first week and a half, I had to block some time out to, uh, I had a website developed and my new website launched. So I had to actually take a week and a half and I had to really hard, you know, spend a lot of focus time on div- or just writing the content for the site. So I get it developed and, and the hard part is writing the content. And uh, in actual fact, I had it developed a long time ago, and um, and I didn't have the content, and I was procrastinating, procrastinating. Um, but I had to sit down, reprioritize, and just block some time out. So I went strong a week and a half on that. Um, then I had I had decided that um, I would work, you know, until it was done, and then I would take three or four days just to kind of recuperate and relax, which is fine. You need to do that once in a while. Um, but then I actually planned on getting it back in the game about a week ago. And here it is a week later. All excuses aside, it's my fault. Bottom line, you have to accept responsibility. In fact, during that week and a half that I was developing, I probably could have actually done the post. I, I mean, it does take time to do this post by the time I... Um, uh, and it, it doesn't take long to video it, but it takes time to write it up afterwards and takes time to post it afterwards. Um, but... Bottom line is I wanted to take some time to do that. And that's all right. I can block time off to do that. Um, it's okay to take time to recuperate after. But when I say I sh- I was going to get back in it um, after, you know, three or four days uh, recuperating, which means I should have started back at this one week ago tomorrow. Why didn't I? Doesn't matter. I just didn't. I had excuses. You know, I had a headache one day. I had, you know, this, that, the other thing. Um, doesn't matter. All it is is excuses. Okay. Every reason out there, whatever you do is going to be just an excuse why you're not doing it. That's all it is. It's an excuse not to do it. Reasons are, are not reasons. They're just excuses in disguise. And you really have to be careful of that because little things can get in the way so easy. It's easy to push it off a day. You know, and here I am a week later, right? I pushed it off a day saying, you know, I have a headache today. I don't want to do it. Tomorrow, oh yeah, I, you know, this come up. The next day, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. And here it is, seven days later, a whole week's gone by. Boom, gone. Out of my life. Can't get it back ever again. So you need to stop making excuses for whatever you're doing. You can take time and focus. And I agree, you have to do that once in a while to get things done. Um... In fact, I'm writing a book right now, and I and I really have to uh, have to kind of get a focus on that and push it out. But I, I promise you, I'm not going to push you guys aside for this. Um, at least not in the beginning. I may, you know, at the very end or something. If if I if I don't um, if I don't focus properly. Um, but my plan is to continue with this every day and to write the book on the side. So hopefully, I'll have the book done in just a few weeks. And um, and really, I want to poke. Po- I want to really point out the fact. You need to focus. You need to take time for yourself. But do not absolutely, under any circumstances, get things, let little things get in the way. Get yourself back on track. Set a deadline. And that was my problem. I didn't have a firm deadline. I said, I'll take a few days afterwards because I've really been going hard. Here it is. A few days turned into about 10 days. So you need to focus. You need to get back on track. Set firm deadlines. And don't make excuses. My name is Chris O'Neill, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.